So hey guys, this is going to be a DIY on um, some fashion tips and um, t-shirt cutting. Um, style and fashion should definitely be a part of you. It shouldn't. You shouldn't follow trends that don't look good on you, or if you don't like them, then you shouldn't wear them. Um, style is about yourself, so wear whatever makes you feel comfortable, and um, then embrace that. Then that's your own sense of style, rather than blending into everybody else. So I mean, I've always been like this. I love doing like little crafty things, and I've always cut up my clothes and everything like that and just been a little bit more creative. Um, so I'm going to share some of my tips and tricks with you guys. Um, I have this one shirt. I have a couple shirts and um, a pair of jeans that I'm going to show you. Um, some tricks with summer coming. Um, so I got this at Walmart for $3. Um, anytime of anywhere, like whether it's like a Goodwill place or a yard sale. I love yard sales. Or um, even at Walmart for $3. I will buy these t-shirts and I'll cut them up. And no matter how many clothes that I find myself buying, um, I'm always grabbing the ones that I cut myself. I don't know why. Um, you can get them, you know, all with different kinds of designs on them and then just, you know, cut it and make it your own personality, I guess. Um, and especially with the shirts that are coming out now, like I bought this and the sleeve is cut out. And I just got this at wet sale and it was $20. Um, so definitely if you don't want to spend $20 or if you don't have it or if you just want to be creative, um, definitely there are ways of going around it. So I'm just going to give you a few tricks and let's just get started. Okay, so these are a couple shirts that I'm going to show you guys how to um, cut up. I'm going to do a different um, style shirt. I'm going to show you how to do a halter shirt. Um, just different kind of off the shoulder shirts. Start about two finger spaces by the seam and go from here to here. Um, as close to the um, inseam here on the collar neck that you can go. Um, and you're going to need a really good pair of scissors. Um, any craft store really has those. So I'm going to try to do this without getting in the shot. Okay. I'm going to make a little snip right here. And then the same with on this side. And I'll go closer so you guys can see. So I made a little snip right here. And then a little snip right here. You're going to just want to carry that on and then connect it. So that's what I'll do. Okay. And you don't have to worry about it getting it even because um, the t-shirt, I'll show you, it'll wrinkle by itself. I mean, try to get it as even as you can, but if it's not even, it's really no big deal. Okay, so there's um, the cut that I just did. Looks like that. Pretty simple. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to set my camera back up. Okay, so it looks like that. Um, then you can try it on and see kind of what you want to do, really with the sleeves or anything. Um, and I'm going to try it on and I'm going to see, really. I'll be right back. Okay, so I really liked how this red one came out. Um, I'm not going to do really anything else with it. Um, you are going to want to pull um, on the sleeves a little, or on the cut that you did, and it'll automatically roll up. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so I will try this on here, um, actually tomorrow, but it'll be in the same video. So um, I'll show you how that looks on. I'm happy with it. And then we're going to go with this one. Now this is a more form-fitting um, shirt. By what that means is the sleeves are a little bit shorter and it's going to be a little bit more tighter, let alone that one was a little bit more baggier. Um, so you're going to want to do the same, same thing, only I'm going to take it a little bit closer. So you're going to take it about right to the inseam, but not exactly where you're going to cut the inseam. So I would say like maybe a half inch, if that. And we're going to just cut it like we did the other one. I'm just going to make this one off the shoulder as well. So you make your two cuts like that, and then just kind of loop them back to around together. Make sure your shirt's laying flat. Okay, and that's what this one looks like. Again, you're going to want to pull the cut out a little bit. So it kind of does its own rolling thing. I'll try to get a closer view. See how it's auto 
gun um, rolling by itself. So that looks cute. I'm going to actually cut the sleeves of this as well, just um, the inseam. I'm going to cut the inseam off and kind of roll them. So we'll do that. So make sure they're even like this. Hopefully you guys can see. And just cut right along where the um, inseam is. And again, pull it when you cut it and it'll automatically roll down. Same thing with this one. Make sure they're even and then just cut it off. And just pull it. And then that one's done. And again, I will show you um, after I cut each shirt, I'll have a clip of me wearing it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Okay, so here's the one that I originally said to you guys that I was going to, um, I bought to cut. I'm just going to cut the um, neck off this one. And then I'm going to do a part two actually on um, like sweatshirts. Um, braiding like a t-shirt and um, like different maybe types of ways if you guys are interested in that let me know and then um, like how to cut jeans like out of a shorts or make like a jean skirt out of it so um, I'm gonna try all these shirts on I'm gonna cut this try the, all these skirt or shirts on and um, show you what they look like and make sure you watch out for part two this is probably my favorite one so yeah, it's super easy, and um, I had somebody actually ask me um, how to do it without your bra strap showing. Um, I really don't mind my bra straps showing. I normally would wear a shirt like that matched, or wear a bra that matched my shirt. Um, but you can wear like a tank top or a different shirt underneath it if you're not comfortable with like your bra strap showing. So that would be, you know, a different idea. There's my toilet paper, and um, here I just threw like a black um, tank top underneath. So, and this red one you can wear off one shoulder or you can drop it down to both. Um, you could cut it shorter. There's so many different ways. So maybe I'll do a part two. And then I just have like a tank top as well underneath. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.